So as the first phase of our uh, system, we have the guttering along the roof of our chicken coop. Then it was supported by the strut over here and then it goes to the, our collection tank over there. So our second phase of the filtration system, we wrap the mesh which we reuse. So if you look across there where there's nothing, we have mesh was once there and we got permission. We cut that mesh, we cleaned it out and we use it in our filtration system. What we have here is what we call our overflow which is connected by a union and in case we get so much water that it fills up this tank it will come into here from which it will flow down straight to our one of our fish tanks where the water will be collected all right the third phase of the project is the transport the start of the transport system where we use our one inch pipe and we use two tin buckles attached to two steel rods and we made it in that um, in the way that we use our one inch pipe and then went to three quarter in order to increase the pressure so that it will help the water flow down easier. This is the fourth stage of the filtration system to the school. As the water leaves from the tank and is being reduced to three quarter PVC pipe, it flows here in with a decent amount of pressure and goes down the hill into the storage tank. Now for the fifth part of the system is there's a float valve inside the tank so if the water reaches a certain level it will shut off um, shut off the amount of water going into the tank so the tank won't overflow and therefore we won't waste water. This is the sixth and the final stage of the project. The water goes down to the school and connects to the school piping and when water goes from Wasa it releases and our water gets to go into the school system. So guys, tell me about that incident where your project actually came through for the Form 6 students with the SCBA. Oh, the SBA, um, the SBA lab. Right, so basically that morning when we came to school, we didn't have water. And the teacher, due to the same thing previously, with no water, the teacher couldn't do that lab. She was really annoyed about it, but I had spoken to her and well, during telling every, the public, general public or school public about the project, I told her about it and where we had it and how it would kick in to once we didn't have water. So she was confident to allow her students to use this water for the project. So coming out of the project, what would you say or advise the national public about water conservation? It's one of the most important things that we should be conscious of as a Caribbean country. We need water and as, um, as a country in the world, water is getting scarcer. You all mention about water quality testing. What type of testing you all focus on? 
Um, the test center we focused on were pH and alkalinity, most of all, because we wanted to know if the water was able, if you were able to drink it. Even though we were mainly using it for like washing hands and flushing toilets, we wanted to know if it was able to be drunk. Because you know how school children kind of harden, so they don't like to listen. Uh, <laughs> how long did this project take to be complete? I think we could say roughly about two months. Two months yeah, roughly if you two all months. the space in between, in between, we were not doing anything. If you put all the day, the hours and stuff we work, I'd say about two months for the most. Yeah, this is our horrible.